All right. Um, little Canadian song, eh? Uh, no, this one really, uh, this one really strikes home for me. Uh, a few years ago, <clears throat> I bought a uh, a sailboat up in Sandusky, Ohio. Really, really crappy boat. It was a 30-foot uh, sailboat uh, that was in really bad shape. It had been sitting on the hard for 10 years, and uh, I mean, I only paid 2800 bucks for it. And then I put about another two grand into it and got it working. So it was a Cal brand, C-A-L brand, a 30-foot Cal sailboat. And uh, I sailed that boat the full length of Lake Erie. Um, then I went on to sail it across the Erie Canal, down the Hudson, around Manhattan, down the East Coast, all the way down to the Florida Keys. Took seven months of my life, me and my dog, we had some fun. So I'm into sailing. I always have been. This That was like the, I don't know, third or fourth sailboat that I've owned, and I've had another power boats a bunch before that. Um, so sailing is in my blood. And this particular sailing song talks about a cargo ship up on the Great Lakes that sank. And, uh, boy, it's a tearjerker. It's a tearjerker if you listen to this. But, um yeah, so what we're going to listen to right now is uh, Gordon Lightfoot, Canadian A, eh? singing The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. So give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and let's jump into it. Chippewa down of the big lake they call get sugar me. The lake it is said never gives up it did in the skies of November turn gloomy. With the load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That big ship and true was a bound of it should when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a grown good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland And later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound in a way of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing But afternoon came it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind Supper time came, the old cook came on deck saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you. At 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in, he said, fellas, it's been good to know ya. The captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the big ship and crew was in peril. And later that night when his lights went out of sight In the wreck of the Edmund of Fitzgerald Turn the 
minutes to hours As archers all say they the made white fish live They put fifteen more miles behind her They might have split up but they might have kept size They may have broke deep and took water And all that remains is the faces and the names Of the wives and the sons and the daughters Burial scenes in the ruins of a rice water mansion. Old oh, Michigan steams like a young man's dreams. The islands and days are for sportsmen. And farther below Lake Ontario, it takes in what Lake Erie can send her. But the iron boats go as the mariners all go, with the gales of November remember. This this hits me pretty hard because well I, I I don't think I've shared this story with anybody at this point. Me and my dog alone. We were up in Alaska and we were on another Cal thirty sailboat that I owned up there that I kept in Seward, Alaska, while I was living up by uh, Talkeetna Willow area. And uh, we went down and me and the dog got on board and we we provisioned, got a bunch of groceries and stuff on board. And I wanted to spend a week. So we went out Resurrection Bay and we, we turned the corner and went up into Alick Bay and uh, and camped on the boat for, you know, four or five days up there. Just, you know, hung out, fished and relaxed and <coughs> didn't do much of anything. Just uh, hung out and enjoyed, you know, checked. We sailed up to a glacier and saw that. That was cool. And seen bears and stuff walking along the shoreline and puffins and loons and it was just it was just sort of cool um great fishing my god fishing was awesome but on the way back as, as we decided to head back to seward um i was up on deck driving the boat and i hadn't seen my dog in a while so i called her up to me and she didn't come so i called and called and called finally she came and when she came up the ladder her chest and her legs were wet like all. Oh. So uh, I got up from where I was driving the boat. I, I shifted it into neutral. And I got up and I looked down the hatchway, the companionway. And, uh, you know, there was 16, 18 inches of water inside my boat. Oh, boy. 
Now, I'm out in Resurrection Bay, out at the very mouth of Resurrection Bay. I'm still a couple of hours to, to get into the harbor, and um, here I am taking on water. Well, it turns out that uh, somewhere along the way, the power switch got knocked off from my bilge pump. The, uh, the boat has what they call a packing gland. It's uh, what goes around the drive shaft going out to the propeller, and when it's just sitting in the harbor, it'll have a slow drip, 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 and the bilge pump can handle that and kept the boat dry. Well, while underway, that drip, drip, drip became a flow. It was actually flowing in. And uh, with the uh, bilge pump off, we were sinking in very cold water that I would not have survived more than a couple of minutes in. And... Uh, I managed to get the switch on and get the bilge pump working. I grabbed a bucket and I bucketed out some stuff. Um, on those boats, you can throw it from the from down below into the companion way, and then it will go out through uh, a scupper a scupper hole they call it. There's a little drain hole and hose that takes it over the side. And uh, so I bailed and I ran the pump and bailed and ran the pump and I started the engine back up and started heading back in and. Uh, by the time I got into Seward, the bilge pump had finally pumped all the water out of the boat and uh, and, and had turned off, actually. But uh, the thought of that haunts and scares me today. Um, I've been vacillating back and forth between buying another boat and sailing and buying a boat and sailing, and, and I still have a proclivity for that, and I still have an interest in doing that. Um, but in that particular case, in that severe cold water up there in Alick and, and Resurrection Bay in Alaska, I know I would have been dead. I would have died from the dog, too. And that would have been really tragic to me. So, so I listened to the, the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald and how it sank in the storm. The Great Lakes are nothing to be, you know, snickered at. They can blow up a gale and and, and as bad as any ocean uh worse in some actually the great lakes can really get out of control so you got to be pretty serious out there not just you know jump in your boat and go out for fun you got to be prepared for some heavy weather anyhow i hope you enjoyed that sorry to waste your time on my little story but uh i i like to explain to people why some songs are important to me and that's why this one is so with that said, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and uh, let me see what else I can find to listen to.